Peace, love, and blessings, y'all. Welcome to this week's episode of THC Truth Talk with me, Jordan Harder. All right, <coughs> so today, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to focus on some of the differences between medical marijuana and recreational marijuana. Um, some are subtle, some not so subtle. Um, it's just kind of interesting to look at the differences and the separations between the two. Uh, so let's focus on medical marijuana first, right? Uh, they're typically going to focus more on a CBD to a THC ratio. Uh, and that's because a lot of the medical marijuana, um, you can get some that's just basically all CBD. Um, for the medical effects, right? Uh, and there's also plenty of medical marijuana products that's not actual like flowers that you can, you know, vape, eat. You know, there's like lotions, all types, of, and that's the CBD, right? So you'll see that they focus highly on the CBD aspect of the plant, whereas the recreational, um, I'm going to say, well, yeah, they focus on a THC to CBD ratio, um, and there's little to, if any, CBD in most recreational marijuanas, um, at least compared to the THC, right? They're, they'll try to get like a two to one, you know, because that's the potency of, of how dank it is, right? And the higher the ratio of the THC to CBD, you know, whether it's, you know, five, whatever, five, one, whatever, that's going to be the dank of the bud, right? Um, whereas now there are some medical marijuanas though that are you know really high strains uh, THC like real dank shit uh, and there's also like edibles so um, I remember when I went to visit my homies in Boulder uh, I think it was what two years ago yeah two years ago uh, so obviously you could just if you were 21 and had like a valid license you could just go into rec shops and just you know by bud um but there was a limit right so you had you could only purchase like 28 grams of actual flour at a time there and there was j there was a cutoff right now i mean you could if you, hypothetically <laughs> just go to like a bunch of different dispensaries and do that right but that's like the legal limit that they're allowed to give you and shit um and that you're really allowed to even have um now with a med card you can go in there and buy a lot, like the, the cutoffs a lot higher. And also with the med card, there's just a lot, it gives you access to a lot more, like you can grow plants. Um, and like, for instance, the edibles, uh, like there, he got me this edible. It was like 250, I think 250, 300, something like that. It was just like a little chocolate. Like it reminded me of like, a little Klondike bar, but if it was just like all chocolate and like fudgy and I put it in the fridge, uh, but it was, it was a lot higher than like the typical you'll see, you get like a normal brownie, it'll be a hundred, like the cutoff's always a hundred milligrams for like recreational purchases, um, <clears throat> at least in one specific item, you know what I mean? But this shit, man, so with the med card, you know, it's, it gives you access to more things like that um also it's going to be more regulated because of that you know what i'm saying because the laws are a little different and it's a little danker uh it's going to be a, a lot more regulated than recreational marijuana uh there was another cool thing i had talked about the cbd Oh shit, yeah, the price. The price is different too, man. <laughs> That's another big aspect. Like recreational marijuana. Uh, and this is, I'm talking about in states that like have them both legalized recreational and medical. So like California, Washington, Oregon, uh, Colorado, that, that type of shit. Um, the price is significantly different. Like it's a lot cheaper with a med card. You know, like you can get fire ounces real real cheap compared it to like a recreational purchase you know but they still obviously everyone pays the tax and whatever um but yeah so it's it's definitely like the marijuana 
is is different and like the product is for sure different um so just having that card and, and like i said this just goes for states that have them both having that card is just a big plus you know because it just gives you access to more um so like the differences you know they're not really that massive but it's just some interesting things to look at because there's a lot of states now that have obviously medical marijuana legalized um but a lot more pushing and getting closer to the recreational use um so it's just interesting to kind of look at the divide and see what the differences are between the two and like i said the main one is the cbd and the regulation that goes along with the medical marijuana compared to the recreational marijuana where they're just all about the thc and the danker the better you know what i'm saying that's the way i roll so if you with it you with it it's really that simple <laughs> i appreciate y'all tuning in again another week another sode see you next week much love